Hi friends, this is the math lesson for second grade. This is unit four, lesson 16. Today we will be practicing the adding up method. We learned the adding up method way, way back in the beginning of the school year in unit one. And we use the adding up method to find missing partners, okay? So we, and whether you know it or not, you guys use the adding up method all the time. So let me give you an example. If I have three plus unknown equals eight, I would count on from three and I would get to eight, right? So I'd have my three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I would count my dots to figure out that was a five. So that is the counting on method. The adding up method is very similar. So we're going to be looking for um, missing partners. Now, the adding up method is not the same as adding, okay? You have to make sure that you understand that. If I was adding, it would look like this. I'd be missing my total. But since we're missing a partner, I could also solve this by subtracting, right? So the adding up method and subtraction are actually very similar, even though it seems like the adding up method would be similar to adding, okay? So take a deep breath. We're going to get started. I'm going to walk you through each step. Now, the directions do say add up to solve each word problem. So we are going to practice that method for every single one of these word problems today. Even if you would rather solve it with just subtraction, it's not gonna, we're not gonna do that today. So let's get started. So go ahead and read number one to yourself for a minute and then we'll get it set up together. All right, so number one says, Doug has 62 baseball cards. After he goes shopping today, he will have 86 baseball cards. How many baseball cards is Doug going to buy? So first we're gonna set up our equation. I like to set up my equation as I read it. So I know that Doug has 62, and we're actually going to write a horizontal equation, and I'll show you why in just a second. We know that he's gonna go shopping today and buy more. So this is where my box comes in. And then I have a total of 86. Okay, so in order to find this missing partner, we are going to add on or add up from 62 all the way to 86. So before you start writing, why don't I show you what it looks like? So you're gonna want to add numbers that either give you a friendly, what we call total, or add numbers that are easy to add, like tens or fives. So if I have the number 62, I'm gonna write it again. Let's say I wanna add 10 to that. I can add 10 very easily, so I'm gonna put a 10 right here. Now, of course, if you have that hundreds chart handy, you can find 62. And you know, if you add 10, you can either count or use the hundreds chart, you know you get to 72. So I know that 10, 62 plus 10 equals 72. Now, my goal is to get to 86. Am I there yet? No. So I'm gonna bring down this 72. I'm gonna add a plus sign. I'm gonna add another 10, and let's see what happens. So 72 plus 10, that's going to give me 82. Again, if you need that hundreds chart, use it. So 72 plus 10 is 82. Now, am I at 86 yet? No, I'm not. So I'm going to write 82 
Now, what is going to get me to 86? Well, if I count on, I can use my fingers, I can use my hundreds chart. If I'm at 82 and I count on to 86, I have one, two, three, four. So if I add four, that gives me 86. Now, where is my answer? If you remember this from way back in the beginning of the year, you would remember that your answer is in the middle. So you're going to add up 10 plus 10 plus 4 for your missing partner. That's why we are writing it side to side, horizontal, because all of these numbers in the middle are going to fit into that box. Okay, actually it should look like this, right? So 10 plus 10 is 20, plus four more gives me an answer of 24. So my 24 would actually go in that box. And I know that my label is baseball cards. So go ahead and pause the video if you didn't already write that down while I was doing it. And now we are going to practice, practice, practice. We have seven more problems to solve using that method, the adding up method. All right, number two, Myra has $87. She buys some gifts, then she has $68. How much money does Myra spend on gifts? So this is one of those problems that it's actually already set up for subtraction. Unfortunately, the directions say practice the adding up method. So if I were to write this as I read it, and make sure you don't write too big, I would write 87. She's buying some, so that's spending money. And then she has 68 left, right? Okay. So in order to make this an adding up problem, I need to have a, an addition sign. I can't just change this to addition. What I have to do is I have to switch my two numbers and my box is going to stay in the middle. So I have 68 plus box equals 87. Now let's go ahead and start adding numbers. I personally like to add tens as much as I can. And then I add my ones. For this one, that's what I'm going to do. Some other times, you can start by adding the ones. Some people like to add ones to make them match. So if I were to add a nine, then I could make my ones match because 68 plus nine is 77. And then add the tens. I think that gets a little too confusing. But if you want to try it, go ahead. I am just going to stick with adding tens. So 68 plus 10 is 78. Now, 78, if I add 10, let's look at our hundreds chart, I'm gonna get to 88, but I only want 87. So adding 10 is too many. So here is where I'm going to add nine. And you might have to use your fingers and you might have to use your hundreds chart and that is totally fine. But this gives me 87 right away. Now don't forget, you're not done. Your answer is not 87. You need to figure out what's going in that box. So we have 10 plus nine to give us an answer of 19. So Myra is spending Ooh, is money our label? Tricked you on this one. She's spending $19 on gifts. All right, friends, let's keep going. Number three, there are 15 apples in a basket. Some more apples are put in, and now there are 23 apples in the basket. How many apples are put in? So let's go ahead and write our horizontal equation, starting with 15. More apples are put in, so we're adding. Here's our box. Equals 23. 
So I'm going to start by adding a 10 if I can. So if I take my hundreds chart and if I add 10, that gets me all the way to 23. So this is one of those interesting problems where you're just going to add one. So if I'm at 15 and I want to get to 23, let's count on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm actually just going to add eight. And I know that eight is my answer. So eight apples are put in. Now, this wasn't a really great problem for the adding up method, but you can still do it even when it has not that much to add up, right? Okay, number four. I'm going to have you guys try this one with me, and then when we get to the back side, you can start to try some on your own. So Mr. Asim finds 113 golf balls. After he gives some to Carrie, he has 54 golf balls left. How many golf balls does, does Mr. Asim give to Carrie? So I'm going to start by writing my equation. So he has 113. He gives some away. So I'm going to subtract, and we don't know how many. And now he has 54 left, right? So I cannot solve, do an adding up problem like this. It's very similar to what we did on number two. So I need to switch my two numbers and turn it into adding. So I have 54 plus box equals 113. All right. So we have quite a ways to go. We're around 50 and we have to get over to 100. That is pretty far, right? So I might want to add a little bit more than just 10. If you are not comfortable adding more than just 10, then don't, okay? You add 10. I'm going to just add 20 and see if that gets me a little closer. So I have 50 plus 20. Oh, not 50, sorry. 54. So if I have 54 on my hundreds chart, here's 10 and 20. So I get 74. I'm going to add another 20. So 74 plus 10 plus another 10, that's 94. Getting closer. Remember, our target is 113. Now, I'm getting a little close. I'm not going to add 20 because if I add 20, let's pretend this was a hundreds chart. I'm at 94. If I add 20, that'll put me at 104, 114, which is too high. So I'm just going to add 10. So 94 plus 10 gives me 104. Now, how many do I need to get from 4 to 13? 104 plus 9 gives me 113. Now, are you done? I got to my target, but am I done? No, I'm not. So I have... 20 plus 20 is 40, plus 10 is 50, plus 9 is 59. So 54 plus 59 equals 113. So 59 golf balls. All right, go ahead, turn your paper over. We have four more problems to do. Yes, you are required to use the adding up method. If you want to pause the video and solve these on your own and then fast forward to see the rest of the answers, that is fine. However, you need to be practicing at your level. So if you're ready, go for it. If you want to stick with me, that's fine too. All right, friends, let's go. Number five. Frank has 27 sheets of green paper. He uses some to wrap presents, and then he has 18 sheets of green paper. How many sheets does he use? 
Now, again, these numbers are not that far apart. So this is going to be one of those questions like number three. So we're not going to be able to add a 10, but we're going to get it set up for the adding up method any, anyways. So we have 27. He uses some, so we're going to subtract. And we have a box, and then he's left with 18. Now, we cannot solve using the adding up method when it's a subtraction problem. We must turn it into addition. So we're going to switch our numbers, keep our box in the same spot, and change it to a plus sign. So 18 plus box equals 27. All right, so I know that I need to add something to 18. If I add 10, that's going to get me to 28. So that's too much. So I'm going to count on my hundreds chart to see what it takes me to get to 27. Maybe you already know just by looking at this hundreds chart. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if I add 9, I will get to 27. That was my target. So I have an answer of just 9. So nine, and our label is just sheets. You can do sheets of green paper or green sheets of paper. That's fine too, but all you need really is sheets. All right, number six, here we go. So there are 25 bikes at the store. Then some more bikes are brought to the store, and now there are 48 bikes at the store. How many bikes are brought to the store? So... Let's set up our equation. We have 25. Some more come to the store, so we're adding. And then we have 48 at the store. So our problem is already set up for um, adding up method. So let's get going. I'm actually going to have you guys try this one on your own. So start by adding some tens. And then when you can't add any more tens, add some ones. See how you do. Pause the video. All right, so we have 25. If I add 10, I'll get 35. Then I bring my 35 down. If I add 10 more, I get 45. I know I'm close now. I'm trying to get to 48. So then I have 45 plus 3 gives me 48. When I add these all in the middle together, I get 23. Ooh, did you get it right? 23 bikes. All right, two more problems to go. Let's get going. Number seven, there are 95 pieces of popcorn in a bag. Jennifer eats some now there are 52 pieces in the bag. How many pieces does Jennifer eat? So if I set up this problem, I'm going to start with 95. I know Jennifer eats some, so I'm going to minus a box. And she's left with 52. Now, is this problem set up for adding up method? No, it's not. So we have to switch our numbers and change it to a plus sign. Remember that the box stays in the same place. All right, go ahead, solve this problem on your own. See how you do. Add some tens and then add your ones and then add up what's in the middle. Pause the video. Okay, so we have 52 plus 10. That equals 62. I know I'm pretty far away from 95. This time I'm going to add 20. Now, if you added 10 again and 10 again, that's fine. We will get the same answer. So 62 plus 20 is 82. Now I'm going to add another 10, which gives me 92. 92, I need to get to 95. So I'm going to add 3, and I get 95. I went well into the next one. Now I'm going to add up my center numbers. 10 plus 20 is 30, plus 10 more is 40. Plus 3 is 43. So 43 pieces. She ate a lot of candy. 
Oh, not candy. Popcorn. That makes more sense. All right. Last problem. In a package of stickers, there are 45 red stickers and some blue stickers. There are 100 stickers in all. How many stickers are blue? I would like you to set up this problem and solve it using the adding up method on your own. Please pause the video. All right. How'd you guys do? Did you get it? So we have 45 plus some equals 100, 45 red, some blue, and 100 total. So I'm going to start by adding 20 because I know that 45 is pretty far off from 100. So 45 plus 20 is 65. 65 plus 20 more equals 85. Now I know that if I'm at 85, if I add 20, that would put me past 100. So if I add 10, that'll get me to 95. I'm going to go over here. So 85 plus 10 equals 95. And I'm still trying to get to 100. So 95 plus 5 equals 100. Now it's going to be a little confusing what we need to add. So we need to add 20 plus 20, which is 40, plus 10, which is 50, plus 5, which is 50. Five. 55, and our label is stickers. You can write blue stickers if you want, but all you need is stickers. Okay, friends, I hope you're feeling a little bit better with the adding up method. Like I said, I truly enjoy solving math in this way. I love the adding up method. Um, it's not suitable for every single problem, as we saw with some of the ones that looked like this, but we had to give it a go anyway. We will practice more with the adding up method tomorrow, but I encourage you to use it when you are doing your thing central today. All right, friends, great job. We'll see you later.